Yo, 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 what's good, YouTube? In today's video, I want to talk to y'all about Tiffany Haddish possibly about to throw Aerie Spears under the bus. And here's the reason why. All right, man. So um, I was listening to my shorts video again about Tiffany Haddish's response video. And it was something that she said in her tweet the other day with well, her post on Instagram. So, uh, with that being said, let's get into uh, Tiffany Haddish's response. Tiffany Haddish wrote on her Instagram and said, I know people have a bunch of questions. I get it. I'm right there with you. Unfortunately, because there's an ongoing legal case, there's very little that I can say right now. But clearly, while the sketch was intended to be comedic, it wasn't funny at all. And I deeply regret having agreed to act in it. I really look forward to being able to share a lot more about the situation as soon as I can. Because I was thinking, I'm like, yo, why would she address this shit when she said it like in the beginning of her post? Like, I wish I could say more, but, you know, there's legal situations. So I'm like, well, then why the fuck address this shit at all in the first place? But then I'm like dissecting her post. And you know what I mean? And I'm like, yo. She said right here, I regret having to act in it. And I'm like, oh, shit. She might about to be throw Aerie Spears under the bus. Because in a lawsuit, it says that this shit took place in Aerie Spears house. So I'm thinking like, yo, this shit ain't finna look good on Aerie's uh, behalf because this shit happened in his house and it was filmed in his house. And if Tiffany is putting this statement out like she regrets having to act in it, I'm wondering if Tiffany is saying that, like, if she's just trying to low key put it out there that she was paid to act in that shit. I don't know. I don't know if she was paid or not, or if she just participated in the shit just to participate in it. I don't know if she was actually paid, like, you know, legally, like, contractually or whatever. You know what I mean? So. Maybe if she was paid, they just handed her some cash. Who knows? But if there was a contract that she had to sign to do that skit, then yeah, who knows? Because the story is still developing. And um, I'm just looking at this like, yo, she about to throw that man under the bus, bro. And if she do, guess what? Aries ain't going to have no type of support system. He just dissed Lizzo. On top of that, his comedian peers don't fuck with him. On top of that, everybody in Hollywood, he is labeled as, like, hard to work with. You can go check out his history on YouTube when he talks about, you know, other people and other entertainers. He's one of those guys that have been airing out a lot of people, um, like, dirt on sets and shit. And just, he's he's very outspoken when, he t when, he, when it comes to other entertainers and his peers in comedy. So, I say that to say, if... Aries, if the pushback all gets put on Aries, then that man is done, in my opinion. Like, his career is done. There's no more Vlads. There's no more podcasts. There's no more nothing. Like, he's already blacklisted as is. So, what else could he do? I guess still tour, but, you know, they'll probably come for that shit, too. That's just my opinion on it, though. You know, could be wrong. This is just something that I thought about when I um rewatched Tiffany's response video that I made and I heard her say like yo and when um when she said that she regret having to act in it I'm like yo she might be ready to throw this man under the bus but um that's it in today's video didn't want to hold y'all too long like share comment and subscribe appreciate y'all as always and this is self-talk for self-talk news salute if you made it this far in the video don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you're new and leave a comment down below if you would like to support the channel you can do so by hitting the cash app at self.q2. Thank you!